It's the time of year when beer should be counted as school supplies. This is the perfect pour. It's always it's always been school supplies at this house. <laughs> We're going to go get some school supplies at Target. Uh, pick me up some 12 packs. Yeah, good idea. Man, my work is doing all these like school drives. I'm just like, it's so weird to ask people to bring their school supplies to the funeral home. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, yeah. Stay for a bit. When Have a coffee. When you're, uh, <laughs> when you're saying goodbye to your loved one, could you bring some extra notebooks and pencils? Yeah. Yeah, I asked like the if, markers that smell good. I asked if we could have a, a casket out front that's open that people yeah. can like, toss you know, pencils in. And, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, but Brilliant. nobody seemed into that idea. And I was like, what? why are we trying to hide what we do? We put people in boxes here. Like, why, why are we trying vision. to hide that? <laughs> Welcome to the Perfect Board. It's a show about things fun, the craft beer geeks. I am Mikey. The Nick. And I'm Rad Stacy. We're going to be hanging out with you here and talking about the beers of Jake last week, beers we're looking out for, and we're going to drink some beers and the listeners of the show call us and tell us some things. And before the show is tailgating, and I already had, sorry guys, um, <laughs> I already had a Surly Brewing Company Furious IPA. That uh, Dang it. Wazoo Corvette in his East Coast Midwest <laughs> travels picked up. It was an IPA that is iconic, hoppy, and aggressive. And it was all those things. Good job, Surly. Aggressive. Yeah, it was pretty uh, malty, though. Oh, they aggressive. forgot to put malty on the can. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic, it, hoppy, aggressive, and malty. Um, my husband and I malt. split this guy uh, earlier in the evening, the New Vienna from Textile Brewing, BA Cyclone sent Whoa. this over. Mm. My husband was very interested in, he was like, can we open this? Can we try this? Malted, smooth, and clean. Um, it was it was a lot more malted than I expected. <laughs> Um, but that's malt. not bad necessarily. Just saying, it was it was quite malty. It's quite malty. There. Quite malty, but also like my senses are a bit off, so maybe don't trust me too much on that. Because my husband like drank it super <laughs> fast, which tells me that it probably wasn't quite as malty as I'm thinking it was, because he yeah. doesn't tend to gravitate mm-hmm. toward that. So yeah. maybe you just need to get ripped. <laughs> Maybe. Not <laughs> drunk enough to enjoy. Uh, yeah. So thank you, BA Cyclone, for that. You're all, did you, get all, the, did you get all the malt off of that one? Because he's like, huh? What beer? He's, like, <laughs> he's already moved on. He's like, oh, he was like, uh, he's like <laughs> I took a straw to that shit and yeah. sucked it down. <clears throat> Getting a lot of malt off of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I got malt <laughs> off of it. Yeah, I know my senses are real off because I I know that I've really liked this. Uh, so I'm drinking it, the very last Anchor brew oh, that I have in my uh, beer. There's probably still some in my at fridge. the store, right? They're gonna uh, come back, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Take it back! I can't believe this was canned uh, in May. Oh, why, why is that unbelievable? Uh, Steam beer's got shelf life. I that's so much. Shelf. Oh, it uh, because it tastes fresh. Because I bought it in Fresno. So. <laughs> oh, okay. At Total Wine. <laughs> yeah, like, I was that, uh, that was that they fresh. made that one. Nobody cared about ink. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, Total Total Wine. They made sure to to leave everything on the back dock for a good week in the sun. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, they're, they're, everyone's like, you got plenty of room back here in the warehouse. No, no, no. Leave it out there. You People. know, Total Wine <laughs> does have a surprisingly tiny stock room. I don't know oh. if you've ever been. Well, in they they're one of those the places that, Total Wine. that look half like a, a warehouse anyway, so they might as well just throw everything True. out there. True. Yeah, what are you holding back? 
Yeah. Yeah. Their their receiving area is like ridiculously tiny. Uh, it's can barely get a big Joe in there. Yeah, they'll stock and store a little bit of wine, but man, if you try to store any beer back there, they they crawl well, right up your ass I mean, about that shit. As somebody who uh, ran a department once, you don't make money. <laughs> you don't make money by just buying just enough uh, product to to put on the shelf. You gotta when you get those sales from the distributor, you gotta take advantage and buy as much as you can and put it back right. there. It's the only way your department's making money, guys. So just so you know, <laughs> just so you know, yes. Total Wine. That's why. You're wondering. That's why the 805 department at Total Wine is so big. <laughs> Fire Cell Walkers is the like, only reason for their receipt. You take, yeah, you take five pounds of this. Like, All right. <laughs> yeah, give me a I discount. merchandise that place about three times a week when I worked for Firestone. It was crazy. <laughs> craziness like yeah, i don't even understand <laughs> like a, a, later you go there in the morning later in the day hey, you go but you coming back you're like no i'm not coming I back i was already there today swear. well the five's already out you gotta come back yeah as i'm watching like people who work there just twiddling their thumbs and <laughs> i don't know whatever mm. it's fine uh this is why it's i always fine. put in yeah, this is why I always put an order in there to just pick up. I like don't want to go into the store. I know what I want, and I don't want to look oh, at it. I don't okay. want to see any of the people that used to piss me off. I just, oh, I just want you to bring my champagne to my car and put it in there. Scan my ID. You don't want all, all want. those those warm singles that they got there. Oh yeah, those warm singles to go. Can you set it out in the sun for me for about twenty minutes before I come to pick it up? That'd be yeah. great. We warmed them I up like for that. you. Oh, thanks. I like that sun shocked lager is my yeah. favorite please, thing. Please temper my alcohol for me. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And right now I'm drinking. Uh, ay, Dios mio. Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> uh, uh, Toppling Goliath Brewing Company's Hop on the Bus. It, haze uh, Bus. Uh, Hop on the Haze Bus. Sorry. It is typical mosaic and citra hops, double IPA, and it is a Wazoo Corvette beer. Um, Nick, what are you drinking? I found, uh, after last week, I wish I'd known I'd had this in the fridge, Confluence <laughs> Blue Lager Corn. Mm. Um, maybe you could have blue traded notes with Brad Stacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah we uh, could have definitely traded notes. Mm-hmm. But, um, it's still Blue there. Lager corn. Still it's there. Still there. <laughs> still it's there. got 6.2 alks at least. That'll, that's, that'll jumpstart your party. That's, that's good. <laughs> I don't know about that. Where's your party going? <laughs> um, it's jumpstarting to it to time. what? Exactly. <laughs> And you know what? Happy fucking birthday, belatedly. Yeah. How wow, was it? Thank you. You're welcome. The birthday was uh, okay. You know, the industry I'm in, I always say it beats the alternative, <laughs> which yes, is not die. growing older. Yeah. So. Right. Um, good half good things happened and half bad things happened. So oh. I'm going to take the win. Hey, you know what? You're in equilibrium then. Yeah, today I had my massage though, so I'm feeling much better. Oh, drink plenty of water. Oh, damn. after a massage, beer is mostly beer. water, so it's fine. There yeah, it's, most, right. it's mostly it's mostly water. Yeah, safe. What did you just have? Six six percent alcohol, so ninety four percent water. You're Perfect. Great. Yeah, it's all on the upside. Yeah, that's, it's lager. It's hydrating. Yeah, yeah that's what very I, I still I I think I even wrote in a, written a post about this once, and I still don't understand. How you can have something like when you soda or a beer that dehydrates you, but it's like almost all water, but somehow it still dehydrates you. I know the alcohol dehydrates you, but still. Satan. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it is. Some sort of, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, him. Uh, well, they do say the devil's in the details. Oh, there it's it the- is. <laughs> we figured it out. 
I um, yeah, yeah, I don't drink soda, so what? Delicious. It's delicious, Rad Stacy. You should try it. Don't actually don't do it. Delicious. Don't don't ever try it. What soda? Yeah. No, I mean, when I did drink soda as a younger person, it was always Dr. Pepper. That was my my deal. Mm, but solid. I I can't even tell you the last time I had a soda, honestly. I, I gave it up. Cold turkey. Cold turkey. Mm-hmm. I switched I switched to beer. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what? And wine. Much healthier for you. It's got minerals. Very, very, yeah, I mean, it's been around longer. The studio is saying ha- be- happy belated <laughs> birthday to, to the Nick, by the way. Oh, thanks, studio. Mm-hmm. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy wow. belated birthday to you. Uh, you smell like a zoo. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> well, eucalyptus so close enough. We're remote. I don't know what you smell like. <laughs> uh, I can tell he smells. He smells divine. I can look at him. He's yeah. clean. Do you smell like zest? <laughs> I've got all the essential you oils zest guy? soaking in. Irish Spring or zest, Nick? Oh, Irish Spring. Oh, my man, that's right. Oh, Irish Spring is the shit. I love that. Yeah. Irish Spring it's always reminds me and of fragrant. Nothing beats right. Irish Spring. That reminds me of camping. Like my when I went camping with my family as a young person, it was always Irish Spring. There's like this covers up anything. Just, <laughs> Just do it. They'd be like pit, pits, You're pits and tits. That's what my dad says. Like, pits and tits. Just Not rub yourself down with some Irish Spring. Well, no, no, ma- here, no, mos- yeah, no mosquito, tits, so. no mosquito can break the Irish <laughs> Spring wall. That's right. <laughs> so clean. <laughs> so, clean. so clean. Yeah, they're like, so oh, this so guy, clean. he's clean. There's no way. Never mind. <laughs> you hear you hear that? <laughs> Squeaky clean. Uh, Irish spring. Man, I haven't smelled that in a minute, but it would take me right back. <laughs> right back to camping at Dinky Creek with my family. Oh, yeah. Quick, everybody to the Walmart. Need some Irish spring. <laughs> my Irish family with the Irish spring. It's all good. Uh, uh, and it's like a curved bar, right? Like, yep, yep. Something yeah. about the shape. So you of can hand, you know, <laughs> you can handle it. You you don't drop it. <laughs> My tiny hands, just yeah. like. <laughs> uh, Rad uh, Stacy, just in just in case we lose you, let's start off with Rad Stacy's culture. Yeah, so um, I just read tonight, actually, that Steve Fetchheimer, uh, the CEO of New Belgium, has stepped down Whoa. after six years. So he took over like right before I left. Um, he and I are actually Facebook friends, and we have corresponded back and forth a couple times about things. Um, yachts. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yacht, all the yachts what he bought. What yacht are you in right Belgium. now? But it's pretty interesting because it – it caused me to do um, a little bit more of like a deep dive on, uh, you know, craft breweries of yore and the craft breweries as I knew them when I started in craft beer in 2010. Mm -hmm. And so he took over seven years later. And then shortly after that, um, there was the, the selling of new Belgium to lion little world. And, It makes me wonder, like, I don't, I'm not saying there's some grand conspiracy theory going on, but there does seem to be a lot of like seasoned beverage professionals who kind of like slip in to these roles and spend, you know, five to eight years kind of developing this trajectory of like, okay, we're going to sell to this bigger conglomerate. We're also going to absorb some other small craft breweries and and get into this really solid place and now i'm just so curious like what is the next move for new belgium because it was it seems voluntary right he's just like hey i did my duty i did the thing i was supposed to do and now i'm going to spend time with my family and it seems to be kind of the same deal that uh dave macon made with you know jumping ship from firestone to the booch company that he went to and i mean for those of you that like follow um, at the helm of craft brewery leadership out there. It's just, it's kind of an interesting move. And 
then with the, you know, the closure of anchor coming through and the fact that we've actually lost 14% of craft breweries since, um, 2013 Hmm. across the board. It's all just very, it's very strange to me. I just, you know, kind of taking that 30,000 foot view and, and looking at the whole of the U S craft market, you know, what say you listeners of the perfect pour, um, you know, distributors are overpacked with craft breweries. The market is saturated. Consumers are overwhelmed and mm-hmm. breweries are scrambling. Yeah. You know, what, what are we doing out here? What, like what's the next, uh, used- what's the next thing for the old school craft brewery, mm-hmm. right? The big dogs, the, the new Belgiums, the Sierra Nevadas, the Boston beer companies of the world. Like what is their role now? In the market, I just I don't know. Yeah, Red Sace is asked asked ask a real question. I'm asking a big <laughs> fucking question right now, yeah. and I it's very I don't know. It's uh, that kind of shook me up a bit. I was like, wow, like Steve well, like, timer stepping like, down, and for for that for that um, it seems like like he came, are you kind of insinuating that he came in to like bolster. The, the numbers for New Belgium and then he did it. And so he's like, peace out. I got you guys up. Yeah. I, I think I, I'm not accusing or pointing fingers or suggesting anything necessarily, but it does feel like there was a purpose that he had because everything happened in very quick succession, right? <laughs> like he came on board late 2017 and all of a sudden I'm getting emails saying, Hey, you're getting bought out you know, of your stock that you still own. And I'm getting emails from all kinds of people. And, you know, that took maybe 18 months for that whole thing to come through. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and the, the grand story on that is too, is that, you know, we took over ownership completely from Kim Jordan and her family. And uh, we quite frankly, weren't doing well and weren't able to make the payments to her. (laughs) In that buyout. Mm. And, um, you know, something had to give, right? The bank is like, hey, (laughs) this thing needs to stay afloat. Stupid. And you need to figure out how to make it stay afloat. (laughs) So you bring in somebody who's a bit of an outsider because he came from from outside the beer industry, actually. Um, it's still in beverage and in distribution, like not, not unknown to the world at all, but not ever at the helm of just like a craft brewery, especially not like a hundred percent employee owned craft brewery. And I think bringing in somebody who can sort of like be a fall guy, right? Like somebody who's not this common face of the, of the brewery to create this, this path that they went on. Uh, it was a really safe way to do it. And I think he definitely played a role and now gets to just wash his hands of it and retire. Mm-hmm. Like all like uh, CEOs are do in the, in the real world, the outside world of corporate. Yeah. World. And, uh, absolutely. So it's, it's a very yeah, I'm corporate not saying he's a bad guy. Me, like, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah. I don't think they brought him in to be like, Hey, be the, be this dude that like freaking puts it all <laughs> corporate and like sells it offshore and also gobbles up some of these other craft breweries <laughs> to be part of it. Um, but he was tasked with a thing to do mm-hmm. and, and he did it flawlessly. I mean, I'll say wow. a good job. I mean, cause new Belgium, grew super fast, put some branding out there that the young crowd is really into. Let's be real. Like they're, they're I love Ranger. brands. Yeah. Voodoo. I mean, they've got so much chain action right now. I like that Ranger like, guy. They put on the kids. Well, typical craft beer geeks are not going out going like, what's the next voodoo. Right. But the, I go to freaking Bolero no. And everyone's getting tall boys of Voodoo Ranger on draft. Whoa. You know? Wait, Whatever. Bolero has t- tall boys of Voodoo Ranger? Yeah, well, it's not tall boys. It's a tall pint because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on draft. Damn it. I mean, that shit's on draft. Damn it. I can't get it. 
Yeah. Oh, I witnessed somebody <laughs> bowl a 300 right after ordering that shit too. So maybe. Wow. Hey, you should have t- something you should, to it. I don't know. You should uh, tell New Belgium that. Like, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you look what to, the kids are doing. With you need your to beer. see what's going on in Fresno. People are getting those tall boys and they're bowling 300s. <laughs> I actually did tell that to the guy because he was like, Oh, he goes, uh, Is this a good beer? And I was like, I don't know. It's hazy. So, not my thing. <laughs> so, but, you'll probably uh, like it. Whatever. And, um, but you'll and he bowl was like, three. Yeah, he was like, Well, what does that mean? I said, It means it's like 8,000 <laughs> calories. But if that's what you want, then do it. And what then he bowled a 300. I know. I was like, Well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it's hazy. Maybe you just found your thing. And know, it's he's hazy. already what a really mean? good bowler. <laughs> so even sober. Great bowler. <laughs> Great bowler. Yeah. Let, I don't let, he didn't just like walk in that night off the street, never bowling before. He's one of those <laughs> or right. one of those rare people that uh alcohol makes no difference in his sporting. He's like, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, because I I'm really good at pool after two, three beers. Yeah, to but yourself before, yeah. or for real. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but no beer. I'm terrible pool player. You're like, I can't believe how fucking boring this is. <laughs> yep. <beer."> like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mikey goes to the tournament sober, and then the montage music starts to play, and he has oh, a yeah. beer, and then he starts winning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Tom Cruise hustling Paul, Paul Newman all day. Woo! Nice. And I do all the yeah, was, all the cool tricks with the cute pull cue. It was pretty funny because that guy was like, "Hey, he goes, uh, it looks like I needed all those calories to pull that 300." And I was like, "Yeah, I, I guess so." Yeah, I mean, that. I was very impressed. I was like, uh, "There's no way I could drink freaking 22 ounces of hazy IPA." <laughs> yeah, you could then and bowl at all. I think uh, I can't yeah. bowl. Uh oh, is there a is there a, is there a possum loose in your house, Red Stacey? I have no idea, but yeah, sorry, my German Shepherd's going a little nuts in the backyard. Yeah, I know that. I know that part. Intruder. Yeah. Intruder. This guy over here is fine. He's just <laughs> he's like, like mm, <laughs> I know. I don't know what he's doing. On. He's, he's mom. Just, when we going to bed? So he's looking um, the couch. So yeah. like, what are the what like for instance? Yeah, what's Boston? Boston Beer Company gonna do like are they? There's nothing left to do, right? That I mean, yeah. So with Boston, done, done I mean, all they. The I think they pos- position themselves really good, super early, right? They they, got they into really everything. read the market. They were just like, hey, people are wanting um, the next thing, right? People yeah, we'll are do not, the next that, thing. We'll that brewery thing. is not bolstered by Boston Lager, like we all know that, yeah. right? It's Twisted Tea. It's yeah. truly. Yeah, um, like literal trains of truly coming into Fresno, <laughs> like just they're just dropping off the box. Oh, that's where I'm. Really- that's where I'm at at Herndon at Herndon yep. in '99. I'm sitting there waiting for the train to go through. Of yeah. just all Boston beer on there, or I'm sorry. Yeah, truly if you don't there. know, they actually send a lot of their product via rail to California. Oh, big which rail, is big rail guys, really crazy. Oh. Boston Beer Co. Yeah. Big rail people. Big rail. But you know what? It's green, big, big actually. Sure. It's, it's mean, a lot greener than semis. Mm-hmm. So if they got we that need going. to go back back to the rail. Yeah. But it also some, takes like five like do- weeks <laughs> or something. You, you <laughs> might <laughs> um you might you, you might see Doc on and the rails. Hot cars. Doc! Yeah. Marty! Yeah, I just, I'm I just Marty, really I'm bringing do. Boston Beer Company out to California. Come with me, Marty. <laughs> ah, Doc, I'm going to take out the Toyota. No, come on, Marty. We've got to save craft beer. Ah, Doc, come on. I'm going to go make out with my girlfriend in my Toyota. Ah, oh forget my that, Marty. Your kids turn out to be assholes anyway. That's true. That's heavy, Doc. Wait, Boston uh, Beer Company's doing bad? That's heavy, Doc. What's happening you in the what? future? They're not, though. That's the thing. They're We've got to go back to the future. The new Belgium <laughs> sold out. We've got to stop it, Marty. <laughs> You're crazy. Sorry. That's all. I I'm just want to know. What, what, is, what is the future of American craft beer? How is it going to shake out? What's the prognosis? 
You know, I just don't know. I think it's very uh, crazy right now. I think it's a little bit wild out there right now. Everyone's got uh, to answer. Everyone's got to pull yeah, back. Yeah, I mean, we've got this influx of like, what are young people drinking, right? They're drinking freaking yeah. uh, ready to drink mixed cans. They're drinking Jack Daniels mixed with, you know, pre mixed with Coke in cans. They're buying seltzer. Seltzer. They're buying sweet shit that's going to kill you by the time you're 45. Hey, I, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's I'm still really alive. weird out there. Uh, well, we got to go to the first Fresno State game with the tailgate and go go around the <laughs> tailgate and see and what are they them. drinking. What, what are, are you drinking? drinking? We'll put it on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah. Let's play. What are you drinking? What? Are and you also, drinking? the other cultural thing is a Dust Bowl, which is close to us, just mm-hmm. opened up a uh, Livermore. Ah. Uh-huh. North, northwest. Location. Northwest is Central Valley. Although, yeah. I don't know if Livermore is still in the valley. Cause there's I that, don't know that it is. I think, I think it's it considered uh, South it's, Bay. It's, it's other side of Altamont. I don't yeah, call it the it's, valley. Yeah, it's on the other side of yeah. Altamont. So never mind. Um, but they're doing well. They actually hired a a a new key like key strategist in the chain ah. world, uh, Kevin Riddio, who I used to work with over at Firestone. Mm-hmm. So oh, they're trying that so watch out for uh, Altamont help them out. for for um, Livermore. Watch out. Yeah. Watch out, folks. I'll be there Saturday. I'll try to have lunch up there. Dust Bowl didn't. Yeah, shake did, them down. Did Dust Bowl not yeah. want to battle with uh, Tioga and uh, all the Fresno into Barrel House? They, so they're like, ah, we're not going to Fresno. We'll go to Livermore. Yeah, I think honestly that them being in Turlock, I think it's a natural progression for them to just keep traveling north. You know, I don't mm. know that they want to to deal with the small town drama of Fresno. <laughs> what? <laughs> the downtown fear. Like, what, uh, what about uh, uh, Fresno? Nah, I want to deal with that small town drama. <coughs> well, like well, well right they did there. stop sending us beer, so they're just cutting ties with the southern well, southern part of the They had valley. to cut corners to afford the new place yeah <laughs> like we can't send that one beard to the perfect pour anymore we gotta oh, open up man. this place up north they uh you know i actually really like dust bowl i'm a big dust bowl I fan do. i do too um, i do too yeah i i like their brewery yeah. i think their food is great i think their experience yeah. is great and i think their quality is pretty spot on you know everything i've gotten um package wise here in fresno it's all a really great a showing of whatever that style is typically. And I think they have, they're very well-rounded. I mean, they've got something for everybody, which is, yeah, which is nice for they're a good. California beer. They're, um, nice. they're very, yeah. they're very close to Tioga. Only they have a food element. And right. Tioga doesn't have. So. I think that that helps them edge it out just a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, it was really funny when I was, First, like the first few years that I was working for in New Belgium, I was working on the Central Coast. And I remember um, the distributor, Central Coast Distributing, which is now part of the Reyes conglomerate. Um, uh, one of the reps was just like, hey, have you heard of this <laughs> fucking dust bowl <laughs> bullshit that's like coming over to the Central Coast? And I was like, what? And they were like, well, they say they're from your fucking town. They're from they're from Fresno oh, and like no. the Central <laughs> Valley. And I was like, they're not from Fresno. Mm-hmm. Like I would have known about that, but yeah, yeah I remember no, no, being no. like super pissed off. There was like, "What is this dust bowl bullshit?" And what now, is this bulls day of rest bullshit? Now we know. Now we know what this dust bowl bullshit mm-hmm. is, and I think it's not bullshit. Honestly, I think they do. Oh, uh, they do. I love how fans. that because that that's how the Central Coast <laughs> thinks. Like anything it's that true. comes out of the valley, like, "Oh, it's from Fresno." What <laughs> if a if shit! It's in Central Valley, it's Fresno. That's what a that's shit. Crazy. You bring it us. <laughs> the dust bowl is like i don't know anybody from fresno yeah, but, um, i think like the exact conversation was your people are bringing <laughs> oh. <laughs> and i was like yeah. what see yeah, see more backstory people for don't those don't, don't live there that's what the central coast thinks of us <laughs> like oh you, you people, people in the valley 
No, there was. How many warm docs do you guys have? Yes. Um, so everyone, I am, unfortunately, I'm not really feeling too well. I'm not super on my game tonight, but, um, I did want to say, go ahead. No, I was saying, uh, you, 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 uh, you showed up, man. You're you're showing up you showed up. Yeah. Here I am. This beer is tasting like so much garbage. I might have the vid. I don't know. I'm going to take a a test tomorrow (laughs) and see what I've got. We got rad Stacy (laughs) with some COVID podcasting. Right now. Uh, right. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I don't know. My dog is audibly over here farting and I can't smell it. So that's a sign. Oh, I might this have it. Is, I don't like this. <laughs> I can hear it. It's Everyone like... uh, worry about Rad Stacy on 8 of 5 day. <laughs> I'll be fine. Hopefully you'll be okay you know for what? 8 of 5 day. I get Rad mad Stacey. discounts at my work in case anything really bad happens. So oh, it's... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean that's free with purchase. I mean, what kind of discount? Yeah. That's for Doug. Off. That's for Doug and the kid to worry about. You don't need to worry about yeah. that. One. Yeah, Doug just has to pay cost. Yeah. For my for my casket and everything else. Um. Anyway, no, I don't think I'm gonna die or anything. <laughs> I just am not. I'll be right no. back. I gotta get some that two is by fours most... at the depot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my own. That's our most make my own my direct reasonable. Box. You got a Ralph's around here. Um, I will be, uh, theoretically, assuming that I don't uh, croak from whatever I have right now, uh, will be in Nashville on the 22nd of this month through the 25th. Dang. Wow. Three days Um, in Nashville. If we've got anyone in Nashville listening and has any suggestions for anything cool for me to do outside of funeral conferences that I'll be going. Going to. <laughs> They're gonna be like, I can't beat that. Yeah, something a little more lively, I will say. Lively, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. old, pun you know, humor. No pun intended. Something uh, more something. lively. Yeah, I will be um, at right. the Grand in, Hyatt, Nashville. So anything around that area, in the Nashville walkable. area, yeah. Grand Hyatt. Did I get it with Rad Stacy? Rad Stacy's like yeah. somebody. <laughs> Show me a good time in Nashville. Yeah. Oh, I would like to know. I mean, I heard I've never nothing been to Nashville. I've never sticker. been to Tennessee. So if there are any craft breweries in Tennessee that anyone recommends, I would, I'm really, well, specifically Nashville. I know Tennessee is a yeah, larger I, I feel state like than just you're, Nashville. Uh, best. I feel like you're, yeah. you're, you're going to be close enough to the alchemist that you can maybe go visit the alchemist. Yeah, possibly. All right, I'm gonna put that in my notes right now. Yeah. So I, I don't know how close Nashville is to the Alchemist, but mm. it can't be that far. Okay, I have let's Google see. Maps open. Are Somebody you looking it up right now? Map it up. Map it up. But Rad, later this month, uh, opportunity to have a get it with Rad Stacy. Yeah, I get it. Two and a half weeks or so from now, whenever that is. Mm-hmm. Um. So this is Alchemist. And, oh, no, wait. This is a salon. That's not a brewery. That's not. <laughs> Ooh, I found the same. But maybe you there is an there. Alchemist salon in Nashville. <laughs> in Charlotte <laughs> go get my, Avenue. Go get my hair, dude. Yeah. Uh, get all gussied up. Chattanooga. I'm gussied uh, up and ready to drink. <laughs> that's right. Where is all uh, the Boston beer at? Sorry. Cool. Oh my gosh! So you well, can yeah, go, I should go be the... able to get some um, cool East Coastish kind please, of beers, right? Please go, please go to the Alchemist and like when you when you're ready to order, say like you got anything that's like a Boston beer, like a Sam Adams. You guys sat something like a Sam Adams. No, all I'm gonna do is ask for West Coast IPA. Yeah, do you have any West Co- <laughs> clear West Coast? Do you have any IPA? West Coast IPA here? Ma'am. Like, <laughs> Ma'am. Oh, God. <laughs> Ma'am. Y'all, I'm, from Cal- <laughs> I'm from California. I expect better beer than this. You took a wrong turn, ma'am. Ma'am? Yeah. Uh, I'm the alchemist. I know. I'm not finding much either. So Nashville craft beer. No, it's beer. not in Nashville. Uh, I, it's in Virginia. I'm just Googling somewhere. Nashville craft beer. It's Yeah. It's in Virginia, right? I. I'm oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking in my no Vermont or Vermont. Okay, sorry everyone. 
Take all my guides in Vermont, Mikey. Idiot. So I found something that says the seven best breweries in Nashville. Southern Grist Brewing. I heard of it. Brewing heard of it. something. Heard of it. Yeah. There you go. They have a huge bar. 25 beers on tap. Do any of them repeat? But yeah. Ooh. 2805s. Uh, Bearded Iris Brewing Company. Heard of it. They're, they're but have you been there? No. They're okay. highly acclaimed. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll bring some cool stuff back. I just want everyone to know that I'm cool because I've heard of it. <laughs> heard of it. I've heard of it. Heard of it. Uh, Living Waters Brewing. Mm, I might have heard of it. It says small batch beer and coffee experiences. Like, uh, I don't no, want to experience I heard this of it. shit at the same time. I haven't heard of it. No, I don't want to experience coffee on coffee. one end, beer on the other. Like, don't try to give it to me at yeah, the same what time. What an experience I just had. So much beer and coffee. New Heights Brewing. Haven't heard of it. <gasps> Jackalope Brewing Company. Heard, now, of that's my heard of it. Speed. Heard of it. That's my speed right there. I oh, love okay. Jackalope. You You'll be a Jackalope. That's number one on the <laughs> list right now. Have you ever seen a live Jackalope? Because I have. Oh, I haven't. Mm. No, maybe I have. <laughs> maybe. Only I, on SNL. Maybe oh, when SNL? I lived in the Jackalope? Phoenix. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, Tennessee Brew Works. Boring. I feel like they didn't like get jiggy with the name there. Tennessee <laughs> Brew Works. Like, uh, that that's a very uh, '80s naming of a brewery. <laughs> I know, guys. Let's just call it the Tennessee name, Brew the name Works. Of the state. Yeah. <laughs> um. Monkey Town. So in my same Google search here, when I was looking for Nashville, Tennessee breweries, the next. Google search item is Does Anheuser Busch have craft beers? Wow, that's a weird. That is a weird. <laughs> also, search know. for. I feel very disturbed by the fact that people are asking this question. <laughs> Anheuser Busch doesn't Google have craft day. beer, do they? That that's the that's the whole search right there. Kona. <laughs> don't be, get it. Don't be telling me Anheuser Busch has craft beer because I will not. Fire Rock. No way, bro. Go get yourself some fucking. Dude, Fire Rock. Kona Lager. Fire Rock was the jam, dude. Fire Rock <laughs> used to kill it. It's true. Mm -hmm. Um. Was, so really yeah. So I won't. I won't be on the show that week, <clears throat> the twenty second through the twenty fifth. I'll be. Or um, will you? Or will <laughs> I? I mean, <laughs> hey, you know what? If I'm dude, you able to. Break he away might be, from the party. Yeah, and out. yeah, exactly. You're like, bro, everyone settle <laughs> down. I got to call the show. I was like, boo. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I won an incentive, and it's a sales incentive for being in the top 1%. Ooh. I won't tell you how I get all the bodies, but I get all the bodies. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you don't, if you don't, doesn't care how they get there. They just, oh wait, they get there. Is that you have a deal with Goldstein's, huh? You they <laughs> have the mortuary. <laughs> you take the bodies. That's all right. All the guy, you're. That's what you're giving them the the double ciders and making them throw up and die in the bathroom. Yeah, huh? you give me the bodies, I get you the pastrami's, <sighs> and it's it's a nice little trade off that we've got going on. <laughs> What's your um, highest alcohol beer? Well, I got this quadruple cider. <laughs> yeah, give it to me. No, it's based off of a lot of things, not just sales, but also uh, customer service. And I had a friend of mine ask, like, how do your customers leave reviews? <laughs> like, are they dead? But it's the people <laughs> left behind that leave me good reviews. Oh. So oh. <laughs> just so you know, oh. I don't get reviews through seances or oh. anything like that. Oh, but, <laughs> I wish like, I did. Is tomorrow. That, is that you? <laughs> is that is that you, Dan, coming through? Yes. First thing I want to say is that funeral director was badass. Okay. First thing, right no, off the, the top. First thing he wants to say is how IPAs got their name. <laughs> Second thing, <laughs> yeah. I'm up here. I'm in heaven. I've crossed over. I know all about what happened with that. I know the real story about IPAs. Okay. <laughs> You guys will be you guys will be blown the fuck away. You're like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, that's just the only kind of information you get when you die. The, this is the real shit right here. God himself I, I was, was like, bro. I was on the ship. I was on the ship yep. that took the first IPA. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know, Christmas Carol, 
when uh, they when they take Scrooge back and like nobody else can see him, but they're all like hanging out. Like this is what would have happened if you like this is what I'm just sitting on the boat with the IPA boat, and nobody knows how cool they are. I'm just like, dude, you're on the IPA boat, but they couldn't hear me because I was a ghost. <laughs> Oh, Mikey, I wanted to tell you too that uh, my my good friend B Round said that you were pretty spot on with your impression of his uh, little bullhorn in Pismo <laughs> of him yelling at people. He yeah, was like, "Dude, I, I Mikey was super probably, spot on with how I was being that night." I probably so, got so. I probably got bullhorn by him at some point or something. <laughs> quite possible um i thought that was really funny like i got this text at like seven in the morning going dude mikey is super spot on with my fucking bull i was uh, i was waiting in line at uh what what's what's that uh like freaking fish taco place that everybody fucking loves oh whatever that you know Uh, not uh, the splash cafe yeah who waits in line at the splash cafe only idiots no okay um (laughs) splash cafe is across the street from it right yeah um red the what you're talking about the the diner that's like right below there um oh my gosh what's wrong with me i don't know whatever everyone waits in line at this freaking place in pismo it's true they do and I'm gonna yeah. think of it in a second. Just go, and I'll blurt it out oh, wow. once I think of it. Um, uh, Nick, was there an item you would like to discuss? Oh my gosh, you guys! You guys, hold your minds, guys. hold your socks. I'm not wearing any socks. I think it's Splash Cafe. Prepare to right. be blown. Well, go put socks on. I have, so- I have socks on. And prepare for them to be blown off. I have socks off. on. I'm ready. Uh, they're getting kind of warm. I'm ready for them to be blown off. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so I'm watching YouTube on over the weekend, um, preparing for car show season. <laughs> and, oh, it's gone. Oh, come back. Okay, here we go. And <laughs> Come on, Aaron. Baby, come back. So, come back. So people bring weird <laughs> shit to car shows, you know. It's not enough to have an old ass car that Freaking barely runs. Like you need to bring a bunch of shit that matches the car from the Ooh. same era to, along to decorate your car with. It's complicated. <laughs> it is. There's a lot it going is. on. It's not, you can't just have a car. You need, you need like an ice chest and a fan and a stop sign you stole from somebody. And <laughs> you know, you need bullshit with you. I prefer the don't enter wrong way sign. <laughs> don't do it <laughs> don't do it You're like, ah, I think I'm gonna do is, it is that hung vertically or horizontally <laughs> in your room hoagies is what you were thinking of right hoagies no oh, I think oh, it's Splash Cafe then. oh do they have tacos I don't, I'm sorry maybe, okay I continue Nick gotten, I'm sorry I meant I jacked it up with the fish taco thing I don't know All right. fish tacos <laughs> that was Cayucas no, it's everywhere. Okay. Shell Beach. No. So, anyways, <laughs> anyways, I love when they, I love when they talk about regional <laughs> shit. I don't anything know what the hell they're Re- talking about. Well, we don't leave the house, so guess yeah. what? You're gonna hear what what are they? Don't enter wrong way. <laughs> See, look at we're, don't wrong, don't wrong interway. Look, this show, yeah. it not only uh, does it do it for listeners, but it does it for co-hosts. Uh, look, Rad Stacy, I think she's in better spirits. I am. She's actually, kicking the shit better. out of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> How to kick the shit out of COVID? Be on a podcast. Wait, what are you so talking about, Nick? So, anyways, the, the, it's 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 too uh, Dorktown uncomfortable silence right now. It's it's been built up <laughs> too much pause. now. I I can't go on. No, um, you have to. No, you guys. So, do anyways, now. people, people I tell bring, your dumb dad joke. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I as I prepare to go to this car show, I'm telling you how, about how people bring needless bullshit to their car show to uh, accentuate the piece of shit that doesn't run in the first place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So the this this fella, this gentleman and or lady, um this ma'am 
if you will, has a box of beer outside of their bus. Oh, I'm interested now. And it says Ballantine India Pale Ale <laughs> aged in the wood yeah. one year. In the wood? Right? Aged in the wood one Okay, so this tells you that kind of phrasing means this beer is extra old. Right? It's aged in the it wood. It went around the horn. Been around the horn. Well, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Have lost. you guys ever heard of Ballantine? Yeah. Is it B A L? Yeah. Yeah. Ball, I always say Ballantine. B A L A N T I N E. Yeah. I'd say Ballantine. You've heard of this? But it might be Ball. Yeah. I always said Ballantine, but it might be Ballantine. But yes, I've had like that. Like Ballantine? Beer. Yeah. It's a Paps. You've beer. had it? Yeah, I've ha- had it. It's a Pabst beer now, but it started in 1890. This is 1840. Oh, what? Then my wow, Oxford is it, is it older? Is cor- incorrect. Wow. I'm it, looking at Wiki, Wikipedia, Ballantine and Sons. It's older Valentine. than Anchor Steam. Valentine. It's older than Anchor. So it's like Valentine. It's Valentine. That's what I thought. But, uh, but yeah, I. Ballantine. Ballin, baller Ball, time. Balls out time. When in, in my early twenties, there there wasn't super amount of choices, so you basically had every single beer that was available. You had, had you had, <laughs> by by the time you're twenty four, you had tried every single beer available to try. Okay. Well, so Mikey, you'll like this even right. better. They were in. They were based out of Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, Newark. Newark. Yeah, that's um, my all my uh, in laws are from that area. Like all. Uh, so they were one of the maybe. earliest IPA innovators. Yeah. They had a seven point two percent or seven point five percent alk IPA. People. I think uh, that might even be the brewery that my uh, father in law. Talks about how, like, basically the whole area smelt like a brewery. <laughs> like, the whole mm. friggin' town smelt like Valentine. I mean, Valentine. look at their brewery in 1906. Do you see that? It's huge. Dang. Yeah. So they were the third largest craft brewery in its heyday. Founded in, nine, uh, in 1840. I really like this phrase right here. It just says, throughout history, it is best known for its... Ballantine Triple X Ale. In August 2014, Ballantine IPA relaunched and has been received with mixed reviews. Three point four. <laughs> I think you can say untapped. that about every single beer in existence. Has yeah. been received Ball, with mixed reviews. Ballantine is Pap's foray into the craft beer market. Ah, Their foray. Whoa. Foray. Yeah. Foray. Foray. Hooray for your foray into the craft beer. Hip hip foray. Um, yeah, Peter Ballantyne or Ballantyne. I don't know how you say it. Uh, he was born in 1791 and died in 1883. He was an old man for that time. He is an immigrant of Scotland and is the founder of Scotland. This is a beer we drink. (laughs) Hey, interesting shit, man. I didn't really know anything about this. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, I, I I've, I've never heard of Ballantine or of an East Coast IPA. Uh, I had not heard the IPA the, before. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. But, and they made this into the '90s, so like we, you might have yeah. seen this at one time, yeah. Mikey. Yeah, I don't remember the IPA part, but I definitely have Ballantine, and I know my father-in-law has talked about it. It's yeah, the part of the culture in New Jersey. Any New Jersey listeners are like, mm hmm. Wild. So I they know yeah, more about this. 60 IBUs. So they were, they were somewhat bitter. Yeah, that's for, quite a bit of IPUs for that uh, era. Uh, an 1800s beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, they were originally aged in oak tanks and then switched to cypress wood. Cypress at some point. wood tanks. Wow, I've not heard so that, of that. So that's happened. where the phrase on the box "aged in the oak" in the comes woods. from. In the oak. 
aged in the wood. In the wood. So you got a wood <laughs> aged. Oh, so it's not a barrel. Wasn't... It's like it's not like a, they took a whiskey barrel. Then... So you're not going to get boozy, boozy, boozy IPA. But then um, it was just an old beach wood fermenting age. vessel. That's you know it was wood. That's before beachwood aging. Probably but, before Bud Budweiser's like, oh, we'll age ours in Beachwood. Think about that. Valentine's like, whatever, man, do it. So what's kind of crazy is that their decline actually happened in the 60s when they were being um, edged out of the market by less alcoholic beers. Mm. So their high alcohol content actually caused them to decline in the <laughs> 60s and 70s. Jeez. Ahead of their Not time. Not the story now. They're yeah, ahead they're of the ahead of their idiots. time for sure. 60s. They're like, Guys, we're only a few years away from Yard House being created. We got to <laughs> we gotta survive. Yeah, hang on. No, we're not doing it anymore. Too many Alks. That's crazy. People That's are going to so love like, the Alks. Oh, no, we, they were people of wanted people. to drink more but get fucked up a little bit less. They were ahead of, they, <laughs> they were ahead of their time uh, with the yeah. IPAs, the IBUs, and the Alks. People are like, yeah, just I mean, the 60s and 70s, they were like, hey, we're doing a lot of coke. We don't need like this huge <laughs> downer. Like we need is... we need something light like Bartles and James. Yeah. <laughs> Wine <laughs> cooler. Right. We uh, want to be refreshed. I can't. Handle it. <laughs> I can't yeah. I I'm can't not handle, refreshed I enough on my this, summer vacation. This hardcore Ballantine IPA. Give me a Bartles and James. Ugh, craziness. Uh, and James. Uh, yeah. I, I remember sneaking that shit when I was a kid. <laughs> I thought they tasted really good. Oh, wow, you're like, mm, this is delicious. I know. Sorry, mom. If you were wondering, like, oh, did I no. drink that? I thought I had more of these. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was pretty juice. That's the messed up part. Like, yeah, your mom's uh, like, she's like, she's all, oh, what a hard day of work. I, at least I got those four bottles and James waiting for me. <laughs> and then there's like two. She's like, wait. Did I drink these last night? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did my husband drink them? My husband is my no, I don't oh, is know. my husband a big piece of shit? He drink it, my Bartle to James. <laughs> I'm gonna divorce Listen, that just motherfucker. You ran out of your Keystone doesn't mean that you get to break into <laughs> yeah. my Bartles and James. Hey, I didn't drink your Bartles and James, honey. <laughs> well, there's only two here. Who else drank them? There's no way mm-hmm. Stacy drank them. <laughs> Are you saying I drank bottles of James? I'm just <laughs> saying. Oh, man. Well, I super duper love all of you guys, but I um, feel the NyQuil kicking right. in. And right. you, I, kick, you kick that possible COVID's ass, right, Stacey? So possible back here COVID, next week. yeah. I will. All right. Kick its ass. I had Thank it last you. May. I feel like, uh, is this just going to be a thing where I get it every year? Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. A, it's how it goes now. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I will listen to the voicemails on the actual show. <laughs> All right. There you go. Um, Commitment. When it airs and have some, some feedback for it next week. Mm-hmm. But. I appreciate all of you and I appreciate, especially just this reading I get to go into on Valentine. Yeah. It's all very fascinating <laughs> history, to me. Bro. Get your, I, know wow. your I must know more, <laughs> but you guys, right. um, thank you for, thank you for no. uh, showing, showing rad yeah. Stacy. Yeah. Don't say anything bad about me. <laughs> after well, I leave. Yeah. We'll see. I'll know. Cause I'm going to listen. Uh, I edited it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it. I'll put it on a tailgate. Nobody will. You, you won't know. You're not Sweet. a golden god. Hey, I can become one right now. No, I've got the link. You won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn. Burn. He's like, I'm gonna. We'll reject it. Are you challenging me to? You can get that extra. Yeah, five I'm bucks. trying to trying to get that five bucks. <laughs> nah, you won't do it. Nah. You bluff. Bluff called. All right. Thank you, Rad Stacy. Hey, better. thank you. Better. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Keep up the good work. Uh, Nick, was there more things you would like to discuss? That was my culture, but I'll update you with what I'm drinking now. This right. is the Lua Brewing Sanctuary Americal Oatmeal Stout. Americal. 
This is from a BA cyclone. Yeah, miracle, A M E R I C A L. A miracle. A miracle. A miracle. All right. I think this is probably supposed to be for Red Stacy being the uh, graveyard theme, but I'm drinking it. Oh. That might then. TBSS. Too bad, so sad. Split up the beers the way I think they should be split up. So. Mm hmm. Uh, you said I need stouts on my birthday, so yeah, I need stop. another beer, but um, I can't. Uh, I don't want to stop the show here, so I'm. We're gonna keep going. Um, the you see Boston Lager, uh, Boston Beer Company, <coughs> with their uh, they they're apparently the Boston Lager is updated because it's brighter. There's commercials going oh, out with the the not the, the cut, packaging. You're talking the actual recipe, yeah. Your cousin from Boston, that that uh ever that they got going on. There's a new okay. commercial that's talking about how the Boston Lager is brighter now. So apparently they've Whoa. updated the uh, Boston Lager. Oh, they took a fat tire approach, yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. The Sam Adams Boston Lager is updated. So I guess we're gonna have to. Uh, I'll give it a try. See what see see what's going on. Yeah. Um, Mammoth Brewing Company's uh the B- blues fest blues and beer festival is this weekend. Oh yeah. It's happening right now, Friday, the blues starts, and then Saturday and Sunday, the beer festival part is with the blues part. Um. So yeah. Fortunately, uh, Chicken Whiskey Band isn't playing up there, but <laughs> they are not. Um, a lot of blues bands, a lot of beer, uh, a good lineup in the festival. Fortunately, no Fresno County beer breweries, but the aforementioned Dust Bowl is there, and Firestone oh, Walker wow. is there, as the and Kern River is there as the Central California representatives but um mm-hmm. some reason no Tioga which Tioga is all about the Sierras. You, so you would yeah. think Tioga would be at Mammoth uh festival but they I did not see them. Oh that's weird. So not not one Fresno brewery? No, not even yeah, not even some other ones or something. So Wow. It's kind of weird. But... What's up with that Mammoth? Yeah. What so are we, yeah, are we too a... far west for you? Yeah, is that is is a good blend of Southern California breweries and some uh, Northern California breweries. So, okay, and there's there might still be tickets. So if you want to get up to Mammoth and the Sierras there, and Tioga Pass is open now, so those on the Fresno oh, on the western side can drive through Yosemite and get uh get over to Mammoth. It's not an easy drive, but it's it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, Don't even know what you're missing. Uh, looking out for uh, New Glory. I don't know if you saw this, Nick, yet or not, but they are putting mm-hmm. into 12 packs gummy worms and Ubadank are now going in the 12 ounce oh, cans in 12 they have pack made cans. Staple worthy, huh? Yeah. So soon, wow. maybe, hopefully, we'll be able Ooh. to have a. Uh, just in time for Labor Day. 12 pack Buy of Uber 12, Dink. 12 ers of new gummy worms. Yeah. So that's something that that's going to do well for them, from them, for I them. I think so. And of course, Saturday is 805 Day. The only yeah. people in craft beer talking about 805 <laughs> Day is the perfect four. So you got, I freaking have to work um so the the 805 morning uh beer okay the morning edition is out for me i can't do it so uh but the 805 evening edition pacific time Mm -hmm. i can do that one so okay um i'll be participating i'm gonna have to buy an 805 i'll probably buy a tall boy but you get a tall boy yeah if you're gonna buy one, might as well. Yeah, I'll get an eight oh five tall boy. Have it at eight oh five. 
I'm only I'm just trying to debate whether I should turn on our YouTube live oh, or ins- um, your Instagram live on eight of eight of five on eight of five on Pacific Standard Time. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if I'm available for the PM. I could definitely Ooh. do the AM. Oh well, I can't do the AM. What are we? Oh, and they got well, it. shit. And now Rad Stacy is going to be sick. She's not going to be on the eight oh five. I mean, that's she's a, got the coke. That's a hardcore beer. You can't just drink. <sighs> no. Well, actually, that's probably when you do want to drink it because you can't taste it anyway. <laughs> You're like, yay! I'm having fun. I love eight oh five. Love it. Eight oh five, the best COVID beer you can have. Best with COVID. <laughs> Pair with COVID. <laughs> well, so um, you know. All right. We'll, I'll, co- all I'm we'll continue say to coordinate. All I'm gonna say is, look out on our YouTube and or Instagram at AO5. Something live could happen, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. Don't hold me to it. But it mm-hmm. um. 8.05 at Pacific Standard Time, Saturday, that e- tomorrow evening, Saturday evening. Yeah. Maybe we'll do something. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just be on untap. You'll just see me check it in on untap and be like, all right. <laughs> Group check in. How many 8.05s can we check in? Yeah. So just, just be alert at 8 o'clock Pacific Time on Saturday p.m. Be social. Set my alarm now. Yeah. So you're like, ah, <laughs> you're just already asleep. Why am I up so early? <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, it's 8 to 5. Oh, it's 8 to 5 day. Yeah. So Nick, Nick will handle the AM, all the PM. There we go. We can do that. And that's, uh, that's enough culture. We've been culturing for a while. Will you call me tonight and leave me your voice, man? Talk about beer and tell me you're driving. Five five nine four nine two zero five four two is the voicemail line of the Perfect Four, and really the Dorktown Network of shows, but it's mostly uh, Perfect Four listeners that use it, and you can. Uh, uh, leave us a message. Call us and leave us a message. Me- I'm not really that drunk, am I? You can call us and leave us a message. Uh, something you want us to talk about. Something you observe. Something show related. Or you can um, email us either a recording or just write us something. Perfect for podcast at gmail dot com. Hopefully the show notes. Have all uh, all the information if you don't want to be writing it down. I right love now. gold. Whoa! Oh, I was getting geez, dry. Bro. I was getting dry. Thank God. This is Lawson's finest liquids. Very heralded Lawson's Whoa. juice stand, blood orange IPA from Wazoo Corvette. Excited to uh, try this one. I've had a, the Lawson's before, but not Juice Stand. Hmm. Quite, quite right. It's not overpowering. It's not the grapefruit's not like blasting it. Mm, okay. But it's there just enough. It is um, a well done beer. Delicious. Well done. Well done. Um, let's start off. I, we got a we got a uh, quick voicemail segment this week. But let's start off with traditional. We've got a traditional, which is, I mean, I'll admit, kind of my favorite. When you call a phone line and you've got a <laughs> <laughs> not many people. The call. phone. Oh, come on. 
It's been working perfectly <laughs> fine, and it does that right that for like four weeks straight. You're just such the world hates me. Spills out into the bay. There's a little hi, perfect pool. It's Paul. I am calling to share with you all a little. A lovely moment that I just had. Uh, didn't have to work today, so... Oh, that's already lovely. Uh, way at the eastern <laughs> edge of Novato, where the Petaluma River spills out into the bay, there's a little uh, area where people go to fish and launch their boats, and there's some picnic tables. And right down the road is the old, old liquor store, deli kind of place that has the old tiny yes. gas, gas station liquor pumps store and deli. That, you know, that aren't used anymore, but they're still there. Yep. And uh, I actually fantasized one day about owning that place and turning Ooh, it into something tight. really cool uh, that has a lot of potential. But right now it's just your average like liquor store deli that sells scratchers and cigarettes and has a very meager beer selection, but... I was able to procure a six pack of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale nice. in bottles, and I took them down to the water's edge, sat at a picnic table with one open Sierra Nevada Pale, felt the cool breeze coming off the water, Aww. had a beautiful view. Right across the water is Sonoma County. I'm on the Marin County side. I have a view of the Golden Hills and the egrets and all the birds cruising around and just the sounds and the smells and uh, it's a great way to enjoy a beer in the middle of the day just one just one mind you and then oh. move on to the rest of the day mm. just wanted to show that moment it's important to share our moments that we have with beers so there's mine cheers y'all keep up the good work Talk to cheers you. Oh, thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. I love that moment with beer. Moments with beer. That's uh, that's what it's all about, man. That's dr- that's some good drinking and thinking. That sub stack. Drinking and think. Oh, good stuff, Paul. And and doing it for Marin too. By the way, uh, the producer and my child were in Marin. Uh, fairly recently but they the only they did they were in Novato they went to the movie theater in Novato which was by the by the Moylands and the Beer Monk I'm sure uh wow uh Paul knows what I'm talking about but but I couldn't go somebody had to watch the house <laughs> yeah some, dang house running some away idiot had to work and watch the house um, that's the traditionals. Let's see what's in the emailed side. We just have one there. Light uh voicemail week, but that's that's cool. We're cool. I'm fine. No worries. <laughs> hey guys and gal, this is B A Cyclone checking in from Iowa. Sorry, I haven't uh, checked in for a while. Been super busy month of July with drinking your lots beers. of family activities. So uh, went to northern Wisconsin once with my my family actually. Um, at a, to a Boy Scout camp for a week. Then we went uh, again a couple of weeks later to central Wisconsin to a rocket launch event, nationwide rocket launch event for high-power rockets. My oldest son is an aspiring rocket engineer. Once they, him and his friend launched one to about 6,000 feet, and then luckily it's got a GPS uh, tracker in it. We were a half mile away trying to find that one in a cornfield. <laughs> um, so that was an adventure. <laughs> went to Nashville with my extended family. We rented a house there, and that was a uh, great to see them and then last night uh kind of the cap of july we went to uh, uh, a fundraising dinner for the republicans in iowa one thing we go here besides corn is politics so it's that season <laughs> and uh heard from all the presidential candidates there and luckily they were limited to 10 minutes a piece or um we <laughs> yeah. might, might still be there listening to p- politicians but it was great to get my wife out there all dressed to the nines and a in a dress and looking her her best and that was great to see and then i got to buy myself a new jacket so had some great pictures of us all dressed up and that was the best part 
Lagunitas IPA was the best beer they had for craft beer there, uh, so I was really oh, oh. eight dollars for a bottle of that. So I just went with a bourbon. <laughs> um, That's good. Yeah, call. and then I, um, textile <laughs> good call. brewing. I hope you guys like that. I saw you, Mikey. Um, you had the, the milkshake IPA there. Had it. Um, I thought it was pretty good uh, for a milkshake IPA. It have a kind of a tropical flavor to it. Then the blue corn lager for you, um, uh, Stacy. I wasn't surprised you thought it was a little bit sweet. Uh, blue corn is kind of a sweeter variety of, of corn. Um, so the beer obviously has more touch of sweetness. So you done um, Nick? I kind of enjoyed it because I'm not a huge Got it. lager Kick. fan, but um, that extra little bit of sweetness makes it more palatable to me. Uh, yeah, and then the oyster stout. I really enjoyed that oyster stout, uh, Nick. It was a little bit different, so that was a pretty cool deal. So I hope you like that. Iowa Geography, yeah, in the tailgate show, um, that was pretty pretty funny. Uh, we are a little <laughs> bit further to the west than Utah, Nick. That was pretty funny. And uh, we are, yes, the land between two rivers. The Missouri on the on the west and and Mississippi on our east. Yep. Um, and then but of course yeah, we're the Dubuque. It is kind of a funny spelling city, and you don't appreciate uh, some of those cities you live near that everybody around there kind of knows how to pronounce. But Dubuque is how you pronounce it. So <laughs> that's where one of my favorite breweries is. Um, dimensional Brewing. Corn. You got to talk about growing corn. We are number one in Iowa by quite a ways. California, number 34. What? Um, Bullshit. Corn production in the United States by state. But, you know, California, they grow everything else, honestly, in the whole produce section. One of the uh, things I enjoyed a couple times is going to the Harris Ranch. There's a restaurant, a big yeah. ranch in California, Central Valley. High five. They have a ranch, a restaurant down there in southwest of you guys. Out um, in the, out in the they, middle of nowhere. Course, it's a big sta- a cattle ranch, but they grow just about everything else, too. So that's a cool experience. Try that out if you haven't yet. Um down up by you guys and then frankly um i just want to let you know guys i just enjoy listening to your show the best part is when you guys do voices um mikey you're the best I, I, I always be. cut up a gut when you're I doing voice be. impressions so keep up the great work um love listening to you guys <laughs> nice. and having a great time enjoy those beers check those dates bye bye um I don't know about that voices, the, the producer. Whenever the producer hears me doing the voice, she wait and like she's like, no, nah, don't do that. <laughs> Shut her down. Yeah, Shut her like, down. No, stop doing that. But I'm like, it's hilarious, honey. I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's not nearly as funny as you think it is. <laughs> ah. No. So I'm no, very <laughs> I'm I'm very thankful that that you're giving me Give me more, like, yeah, just when I think, I'm like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be so dumb and do these voices and do all this antics. And then and then B.A. Psycho comes in and says, keep doing it, Mikey. And I'm like, yes, keep doing it. Done. Yeah. You're going to have that clip on cue, aren't you, when she starts telling you? Yeah, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah? Listen to this. Well, well listen, listen to this. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I watched it being. I would. I'd be worried in Iowa. You're like the Missouri. What if the Missouri and the Mississippi start like talking to each oh. other? And they're like, you know what? We could just yeah. totally fuck Iowa. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to leave anywhere. You have to go north or south, and no one's doing that. It's too cold. Thank you, BA. Thank you for all the beers. Thank you for calling in. And thank you guys for giving us the voicemails. At Chew Your Beer, I don't know if you've got these, Nick, but so Chew Your Beer, he's got his own logo now. Like, he's oh. like one of the few, like, he's basically a drinking <laughs> celebrity. Like, he's a beer. <laughs> he's like a beer drinking celebrity now. He's got his okay. own logo. And he has his own stickers. Ooh. They're like pro stickers. And he he flaunts wow. them on the Instagram. He's like, look at the I have I don't have one chew your beer sticker. Do you have a chew your beer sticker, Nick? This is an outrage. I do not. I do not have any chew your beer stickers. I don't I don't even notice any perfect poor listeners that I'm like, hey, chew your beer sent me a sticker. It's pretty cool. What's yeah. going on, man? Where's our stickers? I want some <laughs> chew your beer stickers. Where's my chew your beer sticker, man? 
It's outrageous. I think about it probably every day at some point during the day. <laughs> I wonder if my sticker showed up. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, I don't think Tubers, he doesn't even give a shit. He's, he's just like, well, I'm not going to send those guys my sticker. This, this is my, like, I'm not <laughs> up with it. Didn't we, did, haven't we sent I see a hundred more over there. Is he like doing like a thing where he's like, oh, I'm not going to send stickers until they send me stickers. I'm pretty sure we've oh, given Tubers some going stickers. On? Pretty sure. We have to be worthy, not him. Yeah, he's like, mm. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, ask Chew Beer, like, bro, how do we get your stickers? Yeah. What? You know, what we have like, to be, no. We have a door here in the studio that has all kinds of beer stickers. There's not one Chew Beer sticker. Dang. up here on tap or pull out your uh, drinking journal and let's see yeah. what you've been drinking this week uh, the nick 80 on on tap me yeah i'm uh, i'm searching searching, searching. i had a crow and wolf beer over the weekend it was a it was a scotch ale aged in bourbon barrels uh but I can't remember the name, and I don't see it on Untapped yet. Uh oh. I'm looking for uh, if Rad Stacy checked something in this week. She didn't. Oh my gosh, she's letting her <laughs> Untapped uh, what? duties lag. Uh, we're gonna have to dock her pay. On yeah, you know, that's just <laughs> right from zero to zero. Yep, or... yep. <laughs> more zero or. No, um, well, well, shoot. she's yeah, gonna get negative, negative money this week. So okay, when one day when we all get like actual money for it, just cash money, yeah, she we're gonna have okay. to, she's gonna have to wait because we won't be able to give it. To, we'll like, <laughs> oh no, there's that fine from you not checking in on top. I won't wait. That's right. It's the exact amount you just won. What did what did you have, Nick? Sorry. Oh, I I never found the name. Uh, it was a Scotch ale from Crow and Wolf. Okay. Um. Mm, then there are some light beers in between there. Yeah. And my next birthday beer was uh, Parabola twenty twenty three. Oh, twenty three. Wait, you've had that mm-hmm. before, right? You had that Parabola 23 before, right? That wasn't the first time? Yeah, I've, I've had it a couple times this year, but it was in the fridge, cold, and ready to go. So oh. made an easy decision. Birthday beer. Yeah. Did you uh, did you have the day off from work? Yeah, work? I played hooky and we just went hung, bumming around the town. Took the convertible out. You went out to, the... Uh, the, the um, uh, Kings Canyon Way. There's a brewery out there, right? That I heard Doug was at. Oh yeah, Brad Doug was that for out there somewhere. on Kings Canyon. Yeah, like off of there, like a little bit off. Oh shit, I didn't know that. I'll have to look it up. We we uh we went past Kings Canyon all the way to Jensen, so we technically drove through Sanger. I'm in, I'm in on, on the, the way, way to Kings Canyon National Park. I mean, Kings Canyon. Area. Oh, on the way to the park? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard of that. Rad Stacy's like, you, you, come on, Mikey. Yeah, pretty, you heard sure Doug's been out to a place out there. There's something out there. So is it uh, no? Well, never mind. That's Hanford. Um, it, yeah, it was. It's and it's not Pendragon and Sanger. I've been there. Uh-huh. 
there's some sort of uh, bar or tap room out there. I'm pretty sure it's a. Br- I'm pretty sure it's a brewery. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's coming up right away. I don't know. Never mind. We damn it know if we had a whole week and try to remember <laughs> next week. I don't remember. Rand says he'll come back next week and like, yes, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> well, uh, that's what the Nick 80 had. Let's see what I Yeah, am. that's my unique sir, different enough to talk about. Let's see what did I what did I drink? Oh gosh. Uh it's been budget beer week for me. Which is always super mm-hmm. boring, but then you know it's challenging. You have to use your skills of budgeting and being a beer geek at the same time. I yeah. uh, yesterday I had a, a double hop gnosis Firestone Walker Imperial IPA in a tall wow. boy. It was a tall boy though, and it was on sale but only three dollars and double 50. on top of that. Yeah, three dollars and fifty Ooh. cents. Did you even bother to check the date, or was it ignorance is bliss? <laughs> no, I checked it. It was it was all right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like impressive, but it also was like it was like two months or something. <laughs> nice. I had a, the one of the cheapest IPA sixteen ounce cans at the market is General Sherman IPA from Tioga oh, Sequoia. Shit. So I got that one. Nice. Uh, I went to an establishment called Popolo's Pizza, which is just like oh, man. a shell of its former self. Yeah, it's sad in there now. Yeah, it was like kind of depressing in there, <laughs> actually. And I had a just <laughs> out, just outstanding IPA. Like, mm, nice. Like they actually I, had some on draft, huh? Yeah, uh, I was like, but it didn't taste too old. I think it might have been okay. Cause I was waiting right. for it to oh, be like, good. oh, this is gonna be like six months old or something. But it, <laughs> yeah, it was probably I'll be a, disappointed it, so hard right now. It's probably just a few months old, so it wasn't bad. But um, yeah. yeah, I don't. Uh, I am a little worried about uh, Papalo's Pizza. Mm-hmm. I'm worried about its future. And uh, a little, a uh, big little thing from Sierra Nevada because I had that twelve pack. Sierra Nevada. Oh yeah, pack. the he, the big little pack. Yeah, big little, little big pack. pack. And then I had a Smogberry IPA from Smog City and uh, is that El Segundo collab beer. Nice. Uh, I think that's it. <sighs> Yeah, that's enough. Drink mm. This week, though, right, it's payday. So look yeah. out. The money. We're going to give me some good beers. Don't have to do budget week. That's right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers to a new golden, brand new golden. On. This is in the returning brand gold. New? Brand new, brand new, Kenneth. Cheers! Woo! Yeah. I'm always like leery to like say the listener's last name. I don't know. Some I feel like yeah. Some people be do like, they want it? Yeah. Do they not want it? But it's Kenneth. And uh, Kenneth, I don't think has an untap handle, so I was like, I was like, well, let's do his untap handle. But I don't think Kenneth, uh, Kenneth is just a cool dude. That's like, yeah, I'll be a golden guy. So how does he afford his rock and roll lifestyle? <laughs> I don't know. So big cheers to Kenneth. Thank you for becoming a golden god. 
and getting to listen to the tailgate and all the the perks that come with being a gold. You just walk around town all day. It's like, yeah, I'm a gold. <laughs> Flashing your badge. Yeah, just like, boom, bam, 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 bam. So uh, thank you, Kenneth, and thank you to all the golden gods at uh, Donate Money to the show every month. Yeah. So we don't have to pay all the financing that involves being a podcast. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Nothing's for free. Nobody rides for free. Just like Rat Stephen Piercy from Rat says, nobody rides for free. <laughs> nobody rides for free. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you, Golden Gods. Do you have any cheers, Nick? Cheers. I do have a new untapped follower. Oh. Let's see if I can get this to get to this in a timely manner. Nah, we got we're cold. We're just sitting there waiting for eight oh five day to start. <laughs> is that how we're doing? Yep. Uh this is wait, is this the right one? Hmm. This doesn't seem right. Uh Stefano. Right. Uh, from St. Louis on the untapped. Missouri. Missouri. One of, our, one of our Missouri listeners. Yeah. That's my cheers. All right. Um, cheers to everyone that shares the show and listens to the show. Thank mm-hmm. you, guys. Thank you for hanging out. This has been episode 521 of The Perfect Pour. PerfectPoorPod.com is our website. Mm-hmm. Go there, see all the show notes you want, or if your podcast player isn't showing you the show notes, that's where you can go. Uh, we're on YouTube. I've been the past couple of months. I've been posting the sh- the audio version of the show on our YouTube channel. So oh, we nice have a YouTube channel. There's a link in the show notes for that. So if you would rather, because okay. people. Uh, more people now than ever like actually put on their YouTube on their TV. So I don't know mm-hmm. if you ever do this, Nick, but um, you know, if you've got yes. a smart TV or whatever stick you use, you can put your YouTube on the TV. Some some people just like you can just put the show on the on your TV and just have it on nice. while you're doing your stuff like any other podcast, I guess. It's on YouTube. Um, and uh, Perfect Poor Pod and on the social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a, a weekly newsletter that if you like the Perfect Poor, I would assume you would like this newsletter. <laughs> uh, Imagine that. Drinkingandthinking.substack.com. Every Saturday I mm-hmm. put out a craft beer-ish newsletter if you like that um do you have any volkswagen things going on nick in this fall me look for uh i'll be in concord on sunday the the sixth oh and up uh, Uh, is concord up there or down there where's concord it's an up there okay it's uh it's northeast of Oakland, so, so it's on the East Bay. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I just had a map. I don't know what else this is, is near. A, this is a V-Dub uh, enthusiast kind of uh, event. It's the uh, vintage Porsche and Volkswagen Treff Punkt, um, which is fancy word for car show. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, in Concord at Dave Brubeck Park. Oh, Dave I'm Brubeck. Guessing Concord must be a jazz influenced area. I was gonna say Dave Brubeck's a musician. Yeah. Isn't he a drummer? I thought he was a horn player. Oh. Is he a drummer? Mm. Yeah, he is. Look Not at that. Quitter. <laughs> you are you gonna have one of your cars there or are you just going to look at other people's? No, I'm taking our uh, convertible bug, 63 bug convertible. 
the one I just finished mm-hmm. um, this year. Ah, oh, so that'll you... be it's its first the first inaugural car show for the convertible. So at a car show, is it like at a beer festival when you've got a table? Are you just like you gotta sit there with it? And then you're like begging for somebody to take it over so you can go out and check out the other things. <laughs> like, can you just yes, stand? please go with friends. Yeah, you so you can always in? have someone I watch your go car look while at you the go other potty <laughs> or look for weed. I don't do know. They, do they know serve beer? Do. They serve beer at this? Uh, well, oddly enough, so the, the box I was talking about, the uh, Ballantine, mm-hmm. um, that's, I, so I, I, lots of car shows are being filmed and put on YouTube. Yeah. And I was curious what this, I've never been to this car show before. I was curious what they did up there. What's it like? What's the vibe? Where, where do you park? And so I pulled up the 2022 uh, version of this car show. And I, that's where I saw the box with the, the Ballantine sitting outside wow. of a van. Um uh, doing my research for last from last year's show so yeah they i think people do take beer i don't think you're supposed to but you know like they'll take jockey boxes and <laughs> ah, okay. and uh, kind of hide it in the back you know yeah, and if yeah, you're if you know bad. the guy or if you talk to him long enough he offers you a beer you get it's a like, beer hey man you want a beer yeah I don't, so if, i'm, I'm if, sure it's not <clears throat> supposed to happen but it does if if paul or psycho bear show up are you gonna have beer for them uh-huh all right. Yes, I will. All right. So there you oh, go. yeah, I'm taking some beers for me just in case. It's a open carry situation. Okay. So those of you uh, up in the Bay Area Sunday, you can go, uh, go to a car show and see if you like it. Yeah. I beer with it. Secretly. But don't, yeah, don't flash it. Secret. Shh. No, no flashies. Put it, put it in a cup. No. Put it in a Yeti cup, and then <laughs> disguise it, please. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Perfect Pour. Have a great week. Always. Be safe. Mandatory. Have fun. Double mandatory. But first. You got mm-hmm. this is very important because it could ruin everything if you don't do this first. <laughs> like the whole deal is shot yep. if you don't do this first. And I know from experience. You gotta what? You gotta check your dates. <laughs> <laughs>